Oh, hello, vinyl community. <laughs> yes, so, my goodness, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I hope everybody's doing well, first and foremost. Um, I've been working from home. I've been very fortunate that way. Uh, we are uh, about to go back to work uh, next week, although we won't be dealing with the public. Um, for those that don't know, I work in a public library. So, um, yes, yeah, so, so I've, I've had a lot of time to read the newspaper, <laughs> and I happened upon this article. Um, yes, so... Electric Moment, um, with a new album, a doc, and a movie musical. Longtime cult act Sparks may yet become famous. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, let's see, yeah. Yeah, so, they've been around for ages, uh, actually since 1971. <laughs> so it's like, why have I not heard their music before um and reading up on them it, it's it's kind of because uh they have a cult following essentially uh but nevertheless after reading that article i'm like well i need to i need to experience this so i of course went on amazon and um most of their albums go for close to the 30 dollar range um but I found one for $13, roughly, a little bit more than $13. And I was like, okay, this will be a good a good way to uh, just kind of um, do a blind buy, essentially. Because, I mean, I read the article, but I had still hadn't heard anything by them. So, <clears throat> yes. So I picked this up. So this is their uh, 17th album, I believe out of 25 albums, um, the first being in 1971, and the most recent being, I believe, this year, 2020, um, but this is the 17th, um, originally from 1994, and uh, uh, this particular copy was reissued in 2019, so last year. So, uh, Sparks, the all-new album, Gratuitous Sax and Senseless Violins. <laughs> oh, man. And I, I just listened to this, so uh, I will be able to talk a little bit about it. Um, yeah. Um, it, was, it was everything I hoped it would be. So, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Um, basically, on this album, it, it's it's a, a duo, uh, brothers uh, uh, Ron and Russell Mail. This this is Ron and this is Russell, Ron Russell. <laughs> um, so Ron is is more on the the musical end of things, and Russell is is the lead singer. Um, so yeah <clears throat> now in 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 the history of the band they they have um they have been uh more of a band you know with extra players but <clears throat> um essentially it keeps coming back to the duo of the brothers so and that's what this is here uh this is definitely uh synth pop i would definitely describe it as synth pop <clears throat> One thing I love about this album is is just the, the artwork here. <laughs> uh, so of course you have the the funny name, uh, gratuitous sax and senseless violins. Um, <clears throat> it does have a hype sticker here, so I left the the uh, shrink on it. It says backed by popular demand, original album, one hundred percent remastered, exclusive heavyweight vinyl. Yes, yeah, so. And it sounds great, so very pleased with that. So here he is as exclusive room service cover up. It was hot, but it wasn't on the menu. 
And here we have the mustache, the crooner, and the Brazilian bombshell. America's most miserable man. <laughs> Those bare scenes they tried to suppress. So it's basically supposed to be like a, like a tabloid. The smear campaign that ran afoul. <laughs> Uh, there's, it, it doesn't really continue on the back, um, but it does continue on the inner sleeve here. <clears throat> um, the sexy starlet and the extended mix. Are those breakup rumors true? The lowdown on the lyrics you will never hear. The backup singer and the front seat frac fracas. Music's best kept secret, why he is a loner. <laughs> And uh, the, then you have the lyrics. Uh, the humor in, in the, the design of the album here certainly fits with the music. There, uh, there's a strong sense of humor, um, really kind of a silliness. Uh, I would basically describe this as um, if Pet Shop Boys, Devo, and They Might Be Giants had a, a threesome this would be the offspring, this album here. <laughs> um, and actually, uh, getting into... Uh, I did mention that they're, they're kind of a, a cult. They have a cult following, basically. Um, but they've actually influenced a ton of bands. Um, and the ones that, that come to mind that, um, that I can hear the influence... Uh, would be uh, Oingo Boingo, Devo, um, Pet Shop Boys, uh, the B fifty twos, Gary Newman. So, and this album in particular, I really hear uh, Pet Shop Boys. So, um, and an interesting uh, side note about about um, uh, their background, essentially, <laughs> when when they were when they were kids. They actually got started, I guess you might say, in the show business as um, models for young men's apparel for mail order catalogs. So, <laughs> and you know they're they're handsome guys. So, although he has kind of a a sinister, Ron has kind of a sinister look to him, um, like he could be a, a a villain in a black and white film. Um, <laughs> He has that little thin pencil mustache and <laughs> but yeah it, 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 they're they're good looking guys um, yeah so uh let's see it, now this in contrast to their early stuff and this is based on what I've read i I still need to dig into their discography but um they started in glam rock uh, and again that was more like a band um and then off and on, they they were basically a duo. Uh, they did delve into disco uh, at one point, I think, in the late seventies, and they um, uh, they had a or they worked with uh, Giorgio Moroder, I believe. So um, yeah, so I love this album. Let let me go ahead and show you the vinyl real quick before I get into the. The album itself. Ah, uh, fairly nondescript labels, but um, yellow on one side, red on the other. So a very very good album. Um, two of the tracks are like an intro and outro, respectively. Um, the intro is gratuitous sax. And then the, the outro being senseless violins. Um, those are those are each well, thirty one seconds and forty seven seconds respectively. Um, but it, it's not really a short album. <clears throat> it's average length, uh, uh, just slightly under forty five minutes. Um, and I love all the songs, <laughs> and the song titles are are pretty funny. Um, so you have when well, other than gratuitous sax, you have. When do I get to sing my way? Uh, when I kiss you, I hear Charlie Parker playing. <laughs> I love that title. 
Um, frankly, Scarlet, I don't give a damn. I thought I told you to wait in the car. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, eh, you know. Uh, now that I own the BBC, Suey Hark, uh, The Ghost of Liberace, Let's Go Surfing, and uh, ending with Senseless Violins. Um, I I love the album. The, the one track that I was like, eh, I, I could have lived without it was actually Suey Hark, um, which is... Uh, a director that they worked with, they did um, one of the soundtracks to one of his films. Um, he's uh, a very prolific um, director in Hong Kong. Um, did a lot of Jet Li and Jackie Chan movies. Um, yeah, but it's 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 very repetitive and just there's not much to it. So. Uh, they do, um, and in that song in particular, they do have kind of an experimental bent. Um, yeah, that that particular song didn't really work for me, but uh, one of my favorites, um, well, a, a couple of my favorites would be, uh, uh, frankly, Scarlet, I Don't Give a Damn. <laughs> Might as well just say it Might as well just come out and say it You have your fans But frankly Scarlet I don't give a damn um, uh, The Ghost of Librachi I think that one was pretty good And uh, Let's Go Surfing That was another uh, really good track Those were kind of the standout tracks for me um, yeah, <laughs> but I, I love it all except for that one track, Suey Hark. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, I would definitely recommend this. It was like 13 bucks on Amazon and, uh, yeah, give it a shot, especially if you like, um, Pet Shop Boys, perhaps with a sense of humor, um, uh, the sense of humor in my mind goes more in the direction of of uh, they might be giants rather than Devo. Um, it's just that really silly sense of humor. So <laughs> anyway, I do recommend this, and I'm ho hoping to get more of their albums, but I don't want to pay thirty dollars. Um, it, it's fun music, but uh, I I don't want to pay thirty dollars for it, but. Um, hopefully soon, I do have a couple of albums coming that I pre-ordered. Um, I know one probably isn't coming out until July. Uh, I'm not sure when the other one is coming out. <laughs> um, by other bands, not, not Sparks. But, uh, so you can, um, look for those videos. But, uh, yeah. In the meantime, we can all check out Sparks. Um, had you heard of Sparks? I had never heard of Sparks, at least... Not to my knowledge. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.